I do is I walk them around it a couple times or a few times, which he has done. So he's pretty much over it. But we're going to do it again for a demonstration. And then after I walk them around it a few times, I'm going to let them sniff the cart, which I'll do in a sec once we round it again. Stubbornness of donkey. Come on, donkey. Good boy. Come on, donkey. Good boy. done this a couple times so he's pretty much over it and it's not a new new thing to him he's just stubborn and he does not like being told what to do he likes to do his own thing so after I'm gonna round him up again and after I do that we do a couple more turns around it and then I'm going to come on, come on. And then I'm going to show him the shafts of the cart. So I'm going to walk him up in there. Come here, donkey. I'm going to lift them up. Sometimes they won't walk all the way in. We're going to slowly bring them this way. Rub them on the sides. As you can tell, he freaked out a little. He has the pool noodles on as it's a de desensitization for the shafts. But there we go. Now he's doing better. We're going to walk this way. There we go. He freaked out a little because the shaft hit him. So we're just going to bring him around. Come on, donkey. Bring him back by the shafts. And then I'm going to lift the shafts up again, rub them, freaks out a little, so I'm going to put the shafts back down, bring them back up. does not like it when the shafts hit him. So I'm going to put him back down, bring him back up. I'm going to bring him over and then up. It's a tight fit because I have the pool noodles on, but he needs to know that it's okay if the shafts hit him. Especially because in the cart they are going to rub his sides especially when he is turning a sharp turn or just turning in general to hit their shoulders. So I'm going to bring him forward. Come on. Good boy. I'm let him stand here for a few minutes. Well, a few seconds, not a few minutes. And then I'm going to try to bring these back up. There we go. See, he's doing much better. Rub him right here. Put him back down. Back them up, and then we're going to do a trip around. The pool noodles on the side are the ones that I put on the shafts when I put the part up. But it's just great desensitization for him to have them. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm going to bring these up, ask him to step forward, there we go. And he's fine with it, there we go, he's sniffing it, no, no, there we go, good boy, there we go, good boy, I know, scary. 
There we go. Good boy, donkey. Good boy. So I'm going to set these down. I'm going to take these red pool noodles off. As like I said, these are more for desensitization. He is going to be used in parades and to be drove down the road by his owners. He is here for training. So we do a lot of road work with him to get him used to it. He is slowly getting there. He's been here a couple weeks. We've introduced the cart to him a few times, but sometimes they need it more than others. Especially because if you do this by yourself, it's gonna take more time as you don't have someone holding them when you're taking equipment on and off. Which is why it's taking me so long to take this pool noodle off. Okay. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna throw it aside. And then I'm gonna reintroduce the cart. So I'm gonna bring it around. Step into it. There we go. Good boy. I'm going to lift these up. He's backing up. He's, so I have to readjust him, otherwise, the shafts would have hit his underside. Good boy. There we go. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. It's okay. Step up. Come on. There we go. It's okay. It's okay. It bumped his shoulder, and that freaked him out, so we're going to back him up, and then we're going to bring him forward. Come on. It's okay. There we go, good boy. Now this is a continual process as you want them to be okay with the shafts hitting their sides, with the shafts occasionally poking them. As you can see, he really doesn't like it even if I poke him. But you really have to get him used to this before you start driving him in the, driving not only him, but horses in general in the cart. We, this is why it takes so long for us to, sorry, not bugs, uh, get them into the cart because I really want them totally desensitized to the cart, which is why I'm doing this facing them towards the cart. Yes, when they have the blinders on, they won't be able to see it, but the feel of it kind of freaks some horses and some donkeys out, which is why we work with pool noodles so much and work with Sometimes we'll put PVC pipes on the sides after they get used to the pool noodles. Line driving is also a huge thing. Ground manners. I've worked with some horses who have had excellent ground manners. They do train faster for the cart than horses that have no ground manners. Donkey is a unique case because he is a donkey and all the donkeys I've worked with are stubborn. Good boy. He is really good with traffic. Unfortunately, the few traffic videos I have taken and posted, there's no traffic going through when I've taken them, which is weird because our road is pretty busy. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna lift him up. He backs up. I'm gonna bring him forward while holding them up. 
There we go. Needs to know it's okay. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna bring him back up. Come on. Good boy. I'm gonna set him down. I'm gonna bring him fully up. Come on. There we go. Come on. Good boy. I'm gonna step to the side. And I'm gonna bring him up more. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. And I'm gonna back him up. Back. 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 Good boy. And then eventually I'll be able to back him into it. Right now we're still working on that. We're still working on introducing him to the cart. This will take a little bit. It takes some horses longer to get used to than other horses. I really recommend doing this with all your horses when you're getting them trained for the cart as it really gets them used to the feel of the cart, the sound of the cart, the smell of the cart, things like that. It really gets them That's a huge thing, especially with me when I'm driving and when I'm working with my training horses. I may spend an hour a day doing this, plus, for only one horse. So yes, when they come to me for training, one day I might just spend it walking them up to the cart, getting them used to the cart. So by the end of the day, they are either desensitized for the cart or they need to work on it more where I know what their strength, strengths and weaknesses are with the cart and without the cart. He is a really good ground driver in line driving. He's really good with the traffic. It's just the shafts that bother him. I no noticed that when I put the pool noodles on. He's gotten used to them, the pool noodles. Taking the pool noodles off is still a little tricky, especially because I have to do it myself. And if I'm holding him like this and taking them off, it takes a while. But he's doing a lot better. Aren't you, donkey? He's very food motivated, as you can see. I do promote treating them occasionally with either treats or grass. I do grass a lot. Because it teaches them, hey, you did a good job. Here's a reward for it. A lot of people don't like it, but I really promote it. Just because if you do it in the correct and right way, it does not promote bad behavior. So if you are wanting to get into cart driving and you want to train your own horse, I really recommend, even before you line drive and ground drive, to introduce them to the cart, get them used to the cart, get them used to the sound, get them used to the shafts rubbing against their sides, and get them used to pool noodles and feed bags and other objects rubbing up against their sides and the sounds and noises and different things that they may run into. Especially because at a show, you never know. I've been to shows where I've had semis in the parking lot. I've been to shows where there have been golf carts and RVs and gators and all different kinds of vehicles that some horses may have never come in contact with. So it is better to get them desensitized to something and not have a problem with it than to think that you'll never have an issue with it and run into it and the horse or donkey freak out. I'm going to continue doing this with him today, and then I'll continue with it tomorrow and next. I'll continue dri line driving him and working with him on desensitizing and the road work, getting used to traffic. It's a continual process, and sometimes it takes time. We cannot, I really, really think that we cannot compare one horse to another as all horses and donkeys learn differently, just like humans. Everybody learns differently. What one horse may learn in two weeks, another horse may learn in two days. Or what one horse may learn in four weeks, another may take six months. It just varies horse by horse and the individual itself. For example, my personal horse, I use him in a lot of my training videos for Liberty. Romeo, it took me, I have him almost, I had him four years. And just this past winter, I've started using him, and 
uh, beginner lessons and beginner clinics. And it just took him that long to get to that point of where I would trust a beginner with him. And it was not the beginner's fault. It was because Romeo did not have that training in his mind where he could be trusted with a beginner that did not always know what to do. Or if the beginner lapsed and they were driving him and they didn't know what to do, Romeo would know what to do, which is what I love with my lesson horses. Donkey is not one of my lesson horses. Donkey is a donkey in training. Right now, he's been here a couple weeks and he has gotten a lot better. He line drives like a pro. I'm gonna do another video with him line driving and how to fit a harness to a donkey. They have a little bit different shape than horses. So it'll be a little different, but same concept of harness fitting with the donkeys versus with the horses. Thank you for watching.